Baakala ay mo weekend na naman. Ara, maam. <laughs> My name is Lex and this is Tech Talk PH. start, gusto ko lang hikayatin yung more than 50% na viewers ng channel natin. Na sana mag-subscribe naman kayo, sayang naman yung ipinuntan nyo dito. Uh, para naman galahan ako for more unbiased reviews na gagawin natin today and in the near future. And of course, sa mga nagbabalik nating viewers, thank you so much for being here again. At para samahan ako sa isa na namang kabanatan ng, ng ating channel. So we are here again today to unbox the most affordable Samsung Galaxy phone ever. Ano nga ba yun? Galaxy A10, Galaxy M10, hindi yun. So guys, we have found the most affordable Samsung Galaxy phone ever. Here it is, the Samsung Galaxy A01. Tara, buksan na natin. To give you a brief heads up, no, guys, the phone ito. Um, it announced ito December 2019 and a month after naging available siya sa market. So ito yung sinan sa akin ni Madam Claudia na phone. Kasi, um, hindi siya masyadong napansin ng mga PH vloggers. So, yun ang gagawin natin today. Papansinin natin siya. Alright. So, eto. This is the usual jacket for the usual books and sheets. Here's the phone. Beneath it. Set it setting it aside. So, here's the inside. Charging brick. The plastic looks really cheap. That we got here the charging cable and as you can see this is a micro usb charging cable no? of course you do not expect na magkakaroon niya ng fast charging here's the sim injector tool at the bottom part of the box and of course hashtag will me hashtag earphones isang, isang parte lang guys na na, na napansin ko talaga wala siyang kasamang free case no? which is a shame on Samsung no, for not including a free case on it. And of course, ang isa ko pang napansin, yung mismong phone, wala siyang libre screen protector na pre-installed. Another shame for Samsung. I'm, I'm really sorry for my words, but that's really a shame. <laughs> so as a set up calling device, guys, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. This phone is pretty lightweight. Let's go ahead and do a quick unit check. So, sa taas niya, at the top, you can find a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the left side, you can find a volume rocker. At the right side, you can find a power button. And on top of that, you can find the SIM tray. This phone supports two nano SIMs at the same time. And it, and it also has a dedicated micro SD card slot. So, good for you. You can put up to 512GB of external storage into this phone. At the bottom of the phone, you can find here the microphone and of course uh, the micro USB charging port. Ang um, speaker goes niya andon sa taas ng camera, nasa likod yung main loudspeaker nito. And then it has a dual camera setup at the back with LED flash. Kaya naman tumagaan kasi yung, yung frame ng phone nito and yung back cover is made out of plastic. Yung sa harap, it is made out of glass. However, hindi ni specify ni Samsung kung anong klaseng glass ang meron sa phone na to. So sa harap ng phone, makita mo dito yung 5.7 inches PLS LCD Infinity V display by Samsung. So LCD siya since mumurahing phone nga to. Pero as you can see, hindi nagpapatali yung punchy colors niya and yung very saturated screen. Samsung has really perfected the display game. Ano. Talagang alam mong quality yung screen na to. And this has a 75.1% uh, screen to body ratio. So it's pretty big. And kung maaalala ko, it was 2014 since I last used a phone with this screen size, 5.7 inch. And as, I, as far as I can remember, that is the LG V20. Pero this is way smaller than that device. Uh, my LG V20 um, stands this tall. So yeah, the screen to body ratio of this phone really helps it to, to shrink down the dimensions of this phone. 
and of course the screen of this phone is 720p HD plus display with 301 pixels per inch screen density. The Samsung Galaxy A01 runs the latest version of Android, Android 10, with One UI 4 2.0 skin on top of it. So when it comes to the main usage of the phone, it's really it's really streamlined. It will definitely give you a very nice experience using it. The interface is very on point. Lat na kailangan mo nang jana. Hindi siya ganon ka komplikado ng gamitin. This is being powered by the Snapdragon 439 CPU that is a 12 nanometer chip with eight A Cortex A53 cores. No, four of those are clocked at 1.95 gigahertz max, and four of those are clocked. 1.35 gigahertz max. Samsung have used Adreno 505 for the GPU on this device. Major, nakaka disappoint kasi. I was expecting more for this phone. No, pero it is below my expectations. So it's really not bad for its price. No, you you get what you pay for. Though, and dami na agad na napapansin ko compromises. Una pa lang. I got here the 16 gigabytes version with 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, yun, isa pa yun, no? Nakakainis. 16 gigabytes sa 2020, no? Gre-release ka ng bagong phone in 2020 with 16 gigabytes of ROM. That is very disappointing. As we all know, applications nowadays, sobrang lalaki na ng space na kinakain lalas sa phone. As you update the apps on your phone, kumakain siya ng mas maraming storage in 16 gigabytes should be already obsolete by this day and age. Diba? Do you agree with me? So let's go ahead and talk about the cameras real quick. So here at the top sits the 13 megapixel f2.2 camera with autofocus no. that is incapable of recording videos up to 1080p, same as the Kelfi camera. And then at the bottom, you can see here the 2 megapixel depth sensor with f2.4 aperture and then the LED flash. I've already mentioned that the, the selfie camera is incapable of recording up to 1080p, 30 frames per second as well. And this is a five megapixel shooter with f2.2 aperture. Now the Samsung Galaxy A01 is 4G LTE ready, which is good, no. At least you'll be getting the strongest signals possible whenever you go, no. And this supports a 3000 milliamp hours battery. Pretty typical battery size, no. We really have to test this in the coming days, no. Kung kung sa pat yung battery nato sa phone nato. No? And one thing na kinagandahan na nakita ko dito, it actually supports Dolby Atmos. So what you need to do is to plug in your expensive earphones, and you'll be able to get a good experience in playing music on this phone. I assure you that. And then of course, this has no official IP rating. So kung nagbabala kang basain to or ilublub to sa tubig, huwag mo nang pangkain pa dahil mag-goodbye ka talaga. <laughs> this has no NFC capabilities as well. And it has no wireless charging. So of course, ang mura lang ng phone na to. So Samsung really have to cut those features off para naman mag-benefit or mag-profit din sila sa phone na to. So aside from the black color that I, that I have here, this comes in red and blue variants as well. So unfortunately, yung binigay nila sa akin, ito na lang daw yung stocks na natira sa kanila. And para kanino ba tong phone na to? No guys, for me, upon playing with it within a couple of minutes, I can definitely tell na para to sa mga chikiting, no? at para sa mga elderly people. So yung mga bata and yung mga elderly, kailangan nila ng phone na madali lang gamitin. And this is very much on point. This is the perfect phone for them. Really sorry, I'm just really disappointed because um, that's the most expensive thing to put here ng Samsung. No, as an addition, is the screen protector. Hindi pa nila nagawang gawin na lagyan no. As you can see, I've been mocking Realme for the free earphones for the past few reviews, and that's what I will do to Samsung as well. Because amura lang ng, ng film protector, hindi pa nila na ilagay. So isa sa mga hassles at isa sa mga petty gripes that I have on this phone. First impressions ko, medyo natuwa ako kasi yun nga, nakahawak ulit ako ng pretty basic smartphone. Hindi ko nga alam kung, kung papasaba to as entry level eh, kasi sobrang baba ng specs niya. Pero yun nga, nakakatuwa na makahawak ulit ng ganito kaliit na smartphone at ganito kababang specs no, for its price. 
magkahalong excitement, tuwa, at saka disappointment dahil nga sa mga small petty grabs that I have on this phone. Like yung wala yung screen protector, wala siyang libre case, or at least kasi may, meron siyang earphones, sana man lang may screen protector na libre. Ang mura lang nun, Samsung, uy. Di, di nyo naman ikakalugi yun. <laughs> no? So, that's pretty much it guys for the unboxing and first impressions for this Samsung Galaxy A01. Abangan ninyo yung mga susunod na video. Susunod dito is yung camera review. Camera and speaker review. Pagsasamahin na natin yun. And then gaming review, of course, hindi natin palalagpasin yan. No? At this low price, makakapaglaro ka ba ng maayos ng mga sikat na games ngayon? Titignan natin yan. Before we end this video, I would just like to tell you that this phone retails at 5,490 pesos. So, kung balak mong bumili na ito, uh, meron sila sa samsung.com. Pumunta ka lang doon, hanapin mo Samsung Galaxy A1. And or visit the Samsung, the nearest Samsung stores near you. Guys, thank you so much for being here again. Thank you so much sa pagsama ulit sa akin sa panibagong uh, unboxing video natin dito sa channel na to. And uh, as always, this has been Lex. See you on the next video. Peace!